whenever the chest pain arises, uh, the basic tests which are to be done are the ECG, stress test, echo, and uh, if anything is suggested to go for angiography. Angiography is supposed to be the gold standard in diagnosing the blockages in the arteries of the heart, but it is also the most overused test. Dr. Thomas Grobois has written in Journal of American Medical Association that almost 80% of the angiographies are unnecessary. He has emphasized in that research paper that almost people who get stress test positive and 2D echo normal, if they are okay with medical management, angiography should not be done. It is often the search for these blockages which leads to interventions. But one has to understand that in the Cleveland uh, transplant study which was done, in 40 to 50 years of age group, the people who had died in car accidents and for the transplants so their hearts were taken, almost 70% of them had blockages. So we all know that blockages uh, lead to chest pain because of less blood supply to the heart. But we also find cases where there is chest pain which is consistently happening and then angiography comes normal. And you would be surprised how. There are other reasons also which can give rise to chest pain related to heart. There is something known as microvascular angina because the pitfall of angiography is that it only shows you the three major arteries of the heart. It does not show you the small network and the complete uh, collaterals which are there in the uh, heart arteries. So if this is missed and many times there could be less circulation through this which is known as microvascular angina. It's quite common in females and young people. Many times we see that coronary spasms are also the cause of getting chest pain. Just to share with you one uh, uh, case study, a lady uh, of middle age had come to me for consultations with consistent chest pain and uh, she had undergone an angiography also which had come out to be normal and her husband was very perplexed that uh, they have visited all the cardiologists and taken medicines but her chest pain is not going. At IPC, we take detailed examination of the case to get into the root cause and when I uh, took her history, I found that consistently every day at 6 o'clock in the evening only she was getting a chest pain. So I took her into confidence and asked that what exactly happens at 6 o'clock when you get this chest pain, what is your state of mind and she told me a very uh, small but a very touchy thing that I wait whole day for my husband to come back from work and when he comes back home instead of talking to me he goes and talks with my mother-in-law and this disturbs me and I get a chest pain. So dear friends, a stress can lead to coronary spasms and a chest pain. This is this is not diagnosed through the test but many times as doctors it is very important to take a proper case history and just by simple counseling uh, to the husband that why don't you go and meet the wife first talk to her and put her at ease I think that will solve her chest pain and rather than two three thousand medicines per month which you're giving her will solve the problem so many times uh, we see at IPC that uh, the mind and body are so integrated and involved that Physically the disease may not be there or there could be microvascular angina or a stress related coronary spasms. These are often uh, you know become better with cardiac rehabilitation, diet, exercise, yoga, stretchment, what you do. And that's why we end up uh, curing almost all the cases who visit us uh, for consultation. Thank you so much.